why was russia never invaded by anybody uh many say it was the cold weather that has always blessed russia does india have any kind of natural alliance to protect itself so like i just mentioned about the varangians they did invade and settle russia so the vikings then the scandinavians they came from a very cold climate so the russian cold weather did not really make much of a difference to them so they came into russia they conquered this territory they settled there and eventually they assimilated with the local slavic people and today we don't see any traces of of scandinavian culture in russia so that is an instance of a conquest of this region of the russian region by outsiders right so russia was invaded by the vikings successfully and later on we had the we had another invasion of russia we know that many invasions of russia have failed because of the cold weather we know that napoleon tried to invade russia uh, his uh, invasion ended in absolute disaster uh, we know that uh, adolf hitler tried to invade russia less than 100 years ago his invasion was the beginning of his decline because it was a disaster once again so russia's extreme cold weather and, and immense into interiors immense geography has always been the bane of any invader unless they knew how to deal with such terrain and such climate so the vikings were able to do it and later on even more successfully so were the mongols so the mongol empire suddenly emerged out of nowhere during uh, the during the lifetime of one man chinggis khan the great khan of the mongols the founder of the mongol empire now chinggis khan never invaded russia it was he was never uh, he had never any reason to invade russia he was never wronged by the russians but one of his generals called subotai uh, did a reconnaissance mission in this region so once again let's go to the map so once again here we are so what happened was that chinggis khan was from mongolia he went to war with the khwarazm empire which is iran turkmenistan uzbekistan parts of uh, other regions this central asian region and he went to war with these guys he invaded this territory because they had uh, done a lot of they they had killed his ambassadors and and confiscated confiscated his goods and all that so he went to war in retaliation he devastated the khwarazm region he conquered it he was successful and then he was pursuing the last shah of khwarazm jalaluddin all the way to india so he ended up in the indus valley region and i have made a separate video about that why he refused to conquer india so chinggis khan was going south towards india at that time his general subotai was in charge of subduing the rest of the khwarazm region which he did successfully and then subotai of his own initiative decided to go on a reconnaissance mission to the west so basically he went all around the caspian sea the caspian sea is this this uh, body of uh, water here So Subotai, this general of Chinggis Khan, on his own initiative, decided to do a reconnaissance mission. It was one of the greatest reconnaissance missions in history. He basically went all around the Caspian Sea and he circled it to find out what lies beyond. And that's how he came to know about Russia. But he was not under orders to invade and conquer any territory. So he just went around the Caspian Sea region. He did a good reconnaissance. He got an understanding of the geography and and the kind of lands and people that lie below beyond that region to the west. And he came to know about Russia. That's how the Mongols were introduced to Russia for the first time. So Chinggis Khan died in twelve twenty seven. His third son Ogude became the Khan of the Mongols, and it is under Ogude Khan. that subotai invaded russia he invaded uh, eastern europe and there was a extremely successful invasion and later on under uh, under other khans as well there were invasions of russia and essentially the whole of russia was conquered by the mongols and that is what uh, brought to uh, brought the kiev uh, the kiev uh, region to a decline the seat of power in the russian region used to be kiev but because of the mongol invasions and the devastation of this region kiev uh, declined greatly and that's how moscow the, the the region of moscovy became prominent in russia and that's how today moscow is the number one city in the slavic world that's how it is the capital of russia so so the mongols had absolutely no problem with the cold weather or the immense geography of russia so so that 
goes on to tell us that Russia is not an unconquerable place. It, it, you need to know how to deal with the with the terrain, geography, and the climate. And the Mongols were perfectly fine with that. They 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 were great at conquering great enormous territories. So it is not the cold that has always protected Russia. The cold has not prevented the Vikings to a small extent and the Mongols to a great extent from invading and conquering Russia. So India historically had the Himalayas, the Himalayas that protected India. But in today's world, uh, mountains don't matter. Those can be it, those can be overcome with technology, with with uh, aircraft and all that. So uh, India can no longer count on the Himalayas to to defend it from invasions. And dur even during the Turkic invasions, they were able to circumvent or bypass or go through the Himalayas via, via various passes and all that. So it is a kind of a natural barrier to some extent, but it's not prevented invasions from happening.